I'm Wayne, part of Lawn Side Safety. Here is our uh, little bit of a dolly challenge demo that we run here. It, it's, it's really a demo to raise awareness on how important it is to pre-trip a dolly. You know, we've all been to our dolly pads. This piece of equipment tends to get a little abused more than it should. It bounces down the road when it uh, has no trailer attached to it. So what we do here is we have 12 items that have been, you know, we, we red tagged it. So we put, um, we put 12 red tag issues on this. And I'm not going to go through a whole pre-trip here, but the whole thing is it's not a pass or fail type of challenge. It's a, you come up, you do your pre-trip and it lets raising some more awareness on how thorough you are, or maybe some common things that maybe you don't check it more in detail. Kind of gets you to focus on, you know, some really important areas and some common things that the mechanics find that they need to repair. So just to kind of go to the front here, we always start our pre-trip in the front, but right here, we have a clip broken on a chain. We also have a slice in the airline. This is common because it sits there and when another dolly comes in, it tends to break the line. As we inspect our light cords and you run up, you know, you run up the whole route, not just what is exposed because up here it rubs against the basket and actually wore a, wore a hole in it. Our other light cord, Obviously, it's been drugged down the road a little bit, popped out. It's also cut. When we look at our airlines, it's where we come across. It's missing a whole grommet. Now, that's an easy fix for a driver, but you know, we're just kind of pointing out things that you just need to be checking. Inspection sticker. This is expired. So that is, um, that is almost two months expired. Now, as we continue, we want to release our air. Well... The cable is actually snapped, so we can't release our air the way we should. Our handle, we always want to check and make sure this is set in the open position. Well, it's not here, it completely fell out. So we go to hook this up and we never pay attention to that handle. Well, now how are we going to check and make sure it's all the way over? Or if we, for some reason, don't check that because out of sight, out of mind, now how are you going to unhook it? So. When we look inside and inspect our brakes, in here we're showing a brake that is backed off. Now when you release all the air out of a dolly, it will separate just the hair, but this is backed off. So even when air is applied, it will not make contact with that drum. We check our tires, we give a kick, well, we got a dead tire, we got a flat tire. The best part of this is not everybody knows what a flat tire feels like or sounds like, you get to experience it. We work our way around through our pre-trip. As we get around the back, we're checking our mud flaps and here we are, we're missing a mud flap. So we wanna make sure we got our mud flaps. So it, it's all about just being thorough. We also, on this one, we have low hub oil. Might be a little difficult to see, but the hub oil is really low. Now it does have oil, it's not necessarily exposing a leak. But speaking with a mechanic, he said that if the hub bearing's too tight, it will be getting hot and absorbing up that oil. So right there, I just kind of showed you 12 items. Uh, we basically did create them with the, with the help of a mechanic. And it's all about that awareness. So take the time, pre-trip these thoroughly. Don't just walk up, kick a tire, put it on the back of your tractor and away you go. You can't see this in the mirror. We can see our trailers, we start to have tire issues, but we don't see this until it could be too late. Very, very important. Um, thanks for watching. Be careful out there.